Hey y'all, Wild Kyle here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm in Alpena, Michigan, and we're going to be hunting for Devonian aged fossils at Rockport Quarry. 390 million year old marine fossils. This is some incredible stuff, and I'm meeting up with some friends, so let's go get right to it. We are walking back into the quarry. We got everybody. We got Randy, we got Ariana, we got Stephanie, and we got Laura back there. We got a beautiful little hike to the quarry back here. Randy knows a bunch about Devonian fossils, so that's super awesome. We'll be able to get his input on some things today. But I can't wait to get back here, see what we'll find. All right, y'all, we're coming right into the quarry right here. You probably can't see it in the GoPro, but way back there is a giant, beautiful cliff full of fossils and limestone and it is just gorgeous out here can't wait to start finding some stuff ariana's already taking some photos <laughs> look at these beautiful coral chunks with a little bit of druzy quartz on the inside there it's pretty bright you might not be able to see it in the gopro there that's pretty beautiful nice there's a brachiopod right there. Brachiopod? oh yeah <laughs> look at the brachiopod <laughs> dang that's a nice one yeah Nice one there too. Yeah. Oh, look, another one. <laughs> That's oh, crazy. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait was that a little horn coral? Look at these little corals. This is everywhere. <laughs> little horn corals everywhere. Oh, this is weird. Jackpot. Look, at it's a bunch of little fossils right here. This is cool. There's a crinoid in the little ossicle. Oh, look at the crinoid stems. Yeah. <laughs> There's a couple over here. Dang. Oh, look at that little horn coral. That is so cool. That's a little cross section one there. That's sweet. Man, I gotta bring out the camera that can zoom in. <laughs> it is so beautiful out here. It's fossil hunter's paradise because it's an endless expanse of rocks. I mean, look at Ariana's bucket already. How long have we been here? <laughs> Not long <laughs> at all. I mean, this place is just incredible. All right, I had to bring out the real camera for these little small fossils down here. Look at that little horn coral. That's a very cool little one. There's, if you look, there's all these little crinoid bits too. Look at like that. Just little segments of them, not even the stem completely intact, just little segments. That's really cool. A little brachiopod right there. Little brachiopod right there. Little brachiopod right there. Look at that little <laughs> tiny crinoid stem. Man, there's some beautifully preserved little tiny brachiopods. That is so cool. Look at this little tiny horn coral. Oh, oh, oh. Come out of there. Oh, that one's cool. That's cool. Look at this little guy. Boom. Oh, he's, he's split in half. Here's a hexagon area that Randy just found. These are really fun here because this is a Petoskey stone, but before it's been tumbled by the lake for who knows how long to get rounded, this is just a raw example of that coral. Very beautiful. Here's a little horn coral right there. There's a little yeah. half horn coral. Very nice. Look at, it's, so this is top, look, it's got, look at all the little oh. burrows. Oh, so this cool. thing died, toppled over, and then was like burrowed on the sea floor. That's crazy. That's Isn't that awesome? I love that. It's like one of the fossils, so much of a story to tell. Yeah. That's what, that's the best thing about fossils, <laughs> in my opinion. Yeah. There's a little horn coral and a brachiopod touching each other. Hello. They're just be little friends hanging out oh there's a little brachiopod right there i like the color on them right here that's beautiful very nice little tiny brack there beautiful what do y'all think this stuff is watch this i touch it it's so squishy and gross it's in this water what is that oh anybody know i don't like it but i do at the same time i don't know what to think it's so gross. There's a bunch of horn coral right here. Look at that one. Ooh, that one's cool. I love that one. And there's a little guy right there. And there's a little guy right there. And there's a little guy right there. There's a bigger guy right there. And there's a really pretty guy over here. Brachiopod. Ariana. Ooh, Ariana with the hexagonaria. Sparkle, sparkle. That's sweet. This little brachiopod's cool. Ugh. Look at this spear fur. That's a big one. Oh, that one's cool. really big. That's cool. Very beautiful. There's so many little fossils here. It's amazing. A little piece of a brack there. There's a cool example of hexagon area. Right there. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. It's got a little bottom and everything. Lovely. Got to pick that one up and show y'all. That hexagon area coral is beautiful. 
Nice little cross section there. That's awesome. Little horn coral right there. Let's see if it's complete. It is. Nice. I like that one a lot. That's a really cool shape. And look at the detail on the bottom. Beautiful. This is a very pretty hexagon area right there. I like that one a lot. But also look in between at all the little favocytes corals. The smaller polyps there. Little tiny ones. They're really cool. Another big one there. Favocyte. Dang. Is this one right here too? I think this is Oh yeah. <laughs> They're crazy oh, wow. how many there are. Yeah, there. I really love wow. That. That's an interesting right looking little coral. Right mm -hmm. That's so cool. That is really cool. Very cool. Check out the horn coral just stuck in the rock. Oh, that one's loose. <laughs> that's kind of cool. They got another one right there. Oh, that, that one's loose too. Hey, yo. Oh, and then look at that one. It just exposed that one. That's crazy. And the underside of that. That's really cool. Beautiful horn corals. Love them when they're in the matrix. I see what looks like a very pretty hexagon area hiding under all these rocks. So we're going to just move the rocks out of the way, get down in there, and see. Oh yeah, that's a really cool one. I'm going to take a couple big ones. I don't know if that's the one, but it's a close candidate. Looks to be a horn coral. Ugh. Oh yeah, big chunky one. And there's some right there too. A little thin guy. It's complete though, it's not broken, it's just that thin. That's cool. How about all these little finger corals through the rock there? Look at that. Look at the detail on them. That is beautiful. I love that. Look at this, y'all. That is a cephalopod in the rock right there that Randy just found. It's dried off now, but he did lick it. <laughs> just so you know. I know that's what we do. <laughs> That's really cool. Never seen a piece of a cephalopod here before. That is awesome. All right, in the rock right here, it looks like a possible big tentaculite. Maybe not a cephalopod, we're thinking. What exactly are tentaculites, Randy? <laughs> they're, they're, they're do they not know? There's not a lot known about them that they don't know yeah. much at all. Yeah, there's a so tremendous that, amount of stuff in the Paleozoic. It's just like these problematic things that no one really knows what they fit into. They argue about them back and forth. One day they're in this category, then they move to another category. And Weird. We don't know because they're so unlike anything modern day. And they look, they, these look similar to a cephalopod wow. to me for sure. Is I'm going to try and break this out of the rock because it's too big. Area? So, luckily Randy has some tools here. I'm going to try and... Bust this part off. I think I can get that off there. It's just on a huge rock that is definitely pretty heavy. So we don't want to carry that around all day. Let's see if we can get it. So this one's scary. I think I need to pin this on some stuff. Hold on. Let's move for a second. <laughs> I think the way I'm going to try and do it is I'm going to stick this end of this like here. I'm going to There we go. And then I can just break this part off right here. Ow. <laughs> there we go. Got it. Perfect. Couldn't ask for it to be better than that. Great. This is kind of wild. This looks like some old mining equipment from when they were mining out here a long time ago. And right next to it, a beautiful hexagonaria chunk with a bryzone growth on top of it. That's really cool. And even some crystal growth. There's something weird going on in there. That's a cool fossil. How about this big old hexagon area that Randy got? A complete one. Like in great condition. That is awesome. Look at that. Little crinoid bits in there too. Heck yeah, dude. That's <laughs> awesome. Very nice little hexagon area there. Ooh, it's got both sides too. It's not all busted up. How about this horn coral in the rock there? Oh, it's just all broken in half, but it's still really cool. Look at this I just picked up, y'all. I had to ask Randy to be sure, but I think we have confirmation. We got a cephalopod here, but what's really cool about that is it's replaced with crystals right in there. But then you can see the actual structure right there. That is 
a beautiful fossil. I love that. This is a straight up Devonian reef exposed in the rock with all these corals, hexagonaria right there. It's a little sparkly too. There's a little druzy in there or something. That's beautiful. Can't take that rock home. It's huge. Got some hexagonaria hiding out. Ugh. Ooh, that looks like a pretty nice one right there. I like that. Let's see how this guy looks. I don't think these are terribly broken up. That one's a little bit broken there. That's a very nice example though. I like the way that one's sitting there. Nice piece. Oh, look at the bottom of that. Oh, dude. That's some cool preservation. Oh, man, that's sweet. Yep, we might have to hold on to that one, even though it's broken half. Look at that big funky horn coral line there. Oh, that's crazy. I don't know if that's the inside of it or if it's just a really flat, smooshed one. I think it got smooshed. That's really kind of neat. I like that. Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that horn coral that Randy just found. Big beast. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, you can see right down into the top of it. Look at the detail. That's so gorgeous. Nice, man. Look how beautiful this is right here. We're getting very close to that cliff side at the back. Beautiful clear water back here. Look at that. That is awesome. I'm excited to get a look on that back hillside there. This is stunning. Right here at this back wall now. Look how cool that is. Oh wow, yeah, there's a monster coral right in there. That is crazy. Look how foldy that rock is. That's weird. That is so beautiful. All the cliff sides right here. I'm way up here now, y'all. Check it out. Whoa, this is fun. Nice cliff side there. This is way up here. What a view. The Devonian sea floor everywhere in Michigan. That is awesome. There's a bunch of cool little corals popped out of the rock right here. Look at them. I love how this stuff just freezes and thaws and pops out like that. It just flakes out so perfectly. And there's just so many little corals all over the place. That is so cool. I had to show off this horn coral in the rock right there just because it's pretty. And it's just going to stay there because it's stuck in the rock, but we will admire it. A nice horn coral there. Kind of smooshed. Kind of cool. Let's see how this one looks on the other side. Pretty nice. A little bit broken there, but very cool coral. Some horn corals eroding out right here. Uh, uh, uh. Break some of that matrix off that one. They're both very cool. There's one right there. All just coming out of this flaky rock. Oh, there's one over there. Uh. Ooh, I like that one. That's really cool. There's a nice Favocytes right there. Look at that cool shaped one. That's awesome. Let's see how this one looks on the other side. Oh, that's sweet. That's a complete one. I love that. It's like a nice little round shape too. I love Randy over there. He's like very excited here and I love it. It's awesome. I don't think it's actually possible to get bored out here. <laughs> There's no shortage of rocks. Look at that. There's some stromatolite there. Algal growth. That's actually really cool seeing the patterns in that. I like seeing that stuff. Maybe I'll find a small piece to, to bring with me just as a cool example to have. But I'm mainly looking for nice hexagonaria coral examples. Hexagonaria is basically the well, it is the Petoskey Stones, but before they're weathered by glaciers and lake action, and you get them in these limestone deposits where they're just the raw form of the coral. Really, really cool stuff, I think. I, I, I love the Petoskey Stones, especially polished, but I love a good 
just raw fossil too. Randy and I keep trying to make it to this back hill, but we're very, very distracted by all the beautiful corals everywhere. Like He's picking one up right now. <laughs> I mean, it's it's impossible to 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 beeline somewhere because you just can't help but look at the ground and find really cool stuff. <laughs> see, there's a hexagon area there. Let's see how this one looks on the other side. A little broken. A cool little coral. I think I'll leave that one for somebody else. Man, it feels like you're walking on another planet out here, though. But really, we're walking on the Devonian seafloor all mashed up. There's some little hexagon area there. That's a nice little one. Surprise Owen, maybe there. Interesting. Whew. It's crazy, man. <laughs> yeah, and this piece right here is cool. You can see the polyps pretty good on that one. That is nice. Which one are you looking at? Yeah. Oh, that's very, cool. Very reefy. Yeah, just kind of corals and stuff in there. Little coral reef. That's awesome. Oh, we're so close to that wall. I hope it's the wall I think it is. There's a wall somewhere in here with tons of brachiopods on it. And if that's it, I'll be very happy. What's this guy here? Look at that. That's cool. Favocytes? I like that. Sweet. All right, let's keep going. Everybody, I'm very happy to say that this is the wall with all the brachiopods. This is great. Oh, there's some footprints there. Start finding them right in this clay right here. Yep, there's one there. Little brachiopod. Brachiopod. Oh, oh there's a nice little guy right there too. Beautiful. There's a little one stuck in the rock there. Is that one trying to break out? Nope, that's like a coral or something. This is a little steep hillside kind of spooky <laughs> uh, here i come uh, randy got a nice spear for right there it's big go ahead and pluck it out of the ground oh yeah look at oh. that that's beautiful right there nice big one <laughs> that's sweet man oh, look at that one right there that is a big brachiopod it's like he got all mixed up and then back together though that's really cool after fossilization Nice, look at that one right there. Beautiful preservation. They're just lying all over the place right here. That little one, that one's almost complete. Would have been huge. There we go. Nice guy there. A lot of these are really crushed and then re-put back together after fossilization, which is kind of neat. Just further tells a story. Randy said, look at you just sitting there waiting, picking them up over there. I got one right below my feet right here. Oh, big one right there. Very cool. Let's see what else we got up here. Oh, oh there's a little one right there. Just a cute little guy. They're like coming out of a clay up here. Oh, there's one right there. It's a little bit, oh, that's a spirifer in the rock. Very nice. Nice little horn coral there. I will happily take it. That is a big, big one right there. Look at that. Both sides too. A little bit of matrix on there. Look at that spear fur. Right there. Oh! I have lost it. Oh no. Please come back to me. My little friend. And this guy right there stuck in the rock. This one is really cool. It's got a bryozoan coating on the outside of this brachiopod. It's kind of hard to tell. Brachiopod died though, and the bryozoan said, that's where I'm going to live. There's this kind of funky bryozoan material there. Kind of strange, eh? It's so bumpy. I like it. I might keep that piece. It's a pretty nice example, and it's a reasonable size. Got a big brack right there. Huge one. 
Some nice hexagon area. Is that hexagon area? No. That's one though. Oh, I like the detail on that one. Ooh, that's a nice little one. It's like a full little coral head, but small. And there's a nice horn coral. Ooh, a nice horn coral right there. Really well preserved. You can tell that one's hexagon area. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, this is nice That's one. so beautiful. Randy oh, got a yeah. nice one. I heard. Wait, what's this one right here? Oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> it's so nice right here. What's the one you just got? Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's <laughs> all over right here. This is cool. <laughs> Randy hit dark pot. Oh, are those? Oh, look at the horn coral on that one. Side. Wait, what's the other side of these look like? <laughs> oh, my gosh. What's the other side of that one? Uh, oh, oh, wow. <laughs> Look at that. Those are so gorgeous. Look at that one's got bracket pods on it. What? Dude. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. This spot's amazing. That's beautiful. <laughs> look at that horn coral. And look at this hexagon area. Hoo hoo. It's so bright right here. I'm sorry, y'all. It's so bright. GoPros don't handle bright stuff very well. Uh, good thing I got my backpack right here. Oh, gosh. I'm way up here. This is a fun spot though. Seems to be a lot of cool things to be found. Oh, there's brachiopods in the rock that are hard to see with the GoPro. So I won't even try. But there's hexagonaria corals lying around up here, which is kind of cool. What's that there? <laughs> that tried to be a coral, but I think it's all brokey. Not right there. Oh, cool. I like that one. That one's really pretty. Uh, oh, that's a big brack. Oh, you might be able to even see that in the GoPro. What the heck? How did they all get up here? Is that bag full of brachiopods? Yeah. What? <laughs> There's one big hexagon area in there. Oh my god. That is amazing. Look at it. Look at all those brachiopods. It's a whole bag full of them. Look at this little hexagon area. Oh my god. That's sweet. That's amazing. I love the preservation <sighs> from the horn coral. Dude. Beautiful. Ariana. You taking a picture of us? Yes. <laughs> I don't know if you can see him over there, but the ladies are leaving us, y'all. They said that Randy and I are too insane because we've been scouring this hillside for lovely hexagon area and we can't stop. It's impossible. Here's the beach right here at Rockport. It's absolutely beautiful. Crystal clear water. Tons of beautiful rocks, tons of fossils in the rocks actually. That's all fossil corals and stuff stuck in there. Isn't that cool? It's just incredible right here. All kinds of horn corals. There's a horn coral in the rock right there. Some glacial rock mixed in, all this kind of stuff that you see. Granite and gneiss and all kinds of other crazy stones. Look at the horn corals in that there. That's beautiful. Also, the sound of the water is just amazing. I can't believe how clear it is. There's a big chunk of Petoskey in the rock right there, hexagon area. There's some Petoskey down there. Not the greatest on this little section of beach, but still cool to see. Look at all that fossil rock. Wild. There's a cool stromatolite piece right there. Algae growing in that weird shape. That's so cool. It's fanned out. That's some old stuff there. Maybe here too, some stromatolite looking things too. Big Favocytes coral. And the rock right there. Ooh, I'm getting splashed. Water's getting me. Check that out. Kind of a pretty stone right there. Right there, what do we got? 
something with some little things in there. That's pretty, it's pink, something glacial. Love the color. Look at that horn coral that Randy spotted, black. That's freaking cool. That looks awesome. Nice one. Oh. Randy braved the water <laughs> in between waves to grab that. Look at the coral in there and the crinoid. Is that crinoid? I thought it was a spiropsis at first, but no, I think it's a crinoid at an angle. That is crazy. That thing is beautiful. Look at all that coral. Look how cool that one is. All that stuff in there, all that coral. That's really a beautiful piece. Well, sometimes I just want to take off my boots and trade them in for some corporate shoes. Take off my flannel, buy me a suit, find a real job and become someone new. As much as I'd really love to slow down, I can't help but keep living fast. Oh, I'll hang up the laundry, I'll hang down my head, but I'll never hang up my hat. And so, friends, if you love something, do it. And don't let your fears drive you mad.